In this video, I'm gonna teach you guys how to animate this. What's up you guys, for those who don't know me, my name is Marcos Kroski, I'm an animator and digital artist and I basically make videos like this tutorial right here to help you guys out, you know, how to animate cover, how to create cover, you know, anything really regarding like digital design, so if you're interested, subscribe to the channel. And if you do want to keep updated with the channel, make sure to follow me on Instagram at Marcos Kroski because that's where I post all my art projects and you do not want to miss out with this kind of stuff, so if you're interested, follow me there. And without much to say, let's get around to this video. Alright guys, so we're in Photoshop right now and the first thing that we're going to do is cut out all the elements that we need for this uh, cover so the things that I'm already like kind of imagining what I want to involve this cover is obviously I want the red like this red pattern going around the cover and maybe enemy uh, autumn himself I'm not really sure but for sure I do want to involve this uh, red thing and what I'm thinking is like having it spin and glow I think that would be pretty pretty fire so let's cut that out so first I'm gonna duplicate this layer all right so something like that right so I'm gonna use a quick selection tool and hardness could go like right like not middle but like we'll go with 68 percent the size of the brush uh since it is thin lines we're gonna go with 17 all right and we could just select points you feel me that way it we're able to cut out this pattern so i'm just gonna click around like only the red parts that way just you know we could cut these out easier so yeah slowly but surely we are gonna cut all these things out so let's see. Yeah, so right now I'm just selecting all, like all the red lines, you know. So we're, like we're gonna cut this out all as like one. So I'm using the quick selection tool once again, and I'm just selecting all the parts that I want. So basically, basically like all the red lines, really. All right. So this is gonna take a while, but I'll get back to you guys when I finish this. All right, guys, we're back, and I basically just selected all the red lines that I want to cut out. So the next thing that I'm gonna do is go over here to the right bottom corner, and I'm just gonna mask out right. And I don't like how that looks, like that looks pretty edgy. So I'm just gonna adjust it. So in these control panels. So I think like right around there, radius. Uh, I don't think that's smooth. We'll, we'll smooth it out, you know, to help it look not nah, smoothly. Never mind. Smooth it just a little bit. And then shift edge, something like so. Like right around there should be okay so the next thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna just cut out autumn himself so in this case i'm gonna just zoom in like this and i don't think the quick selection tool is gonna work too good in my opinion so i'm gonna use the pen tool and i'm gonna just cut him out by hand so i'm gonna just click here starting here and we're just gonna you feel me just slowly cut this boy out so yeah give me a minute let's see all right so i just finished uh using the pen tool on my boy right here so i'm gonna just go to the right bottom corner and paths and just click the selection tool you know have the little lines going whatever and click the mask and boom just like that we have my boy cut out i'm gonna duplicate the layer just keep the original one just in case just deleting the mask so simple mask and boom all right we got both the layers that we need now what i'm gonna do is uh, move these into after effects and we'll see y'all there Alright guys, we're in uh, After Effects right now, and I have all my layers separated. So I have the background, the red lines, and my boy Autumn. So I'm gonna just drop all my subjects, all my all my layers, I should say. All right, into the timeline. All right, and boom. All right, so that's looking pretty good. All right, so first things first, what I wanted to do was actually animate uh the red lines. So like I said, I want like a spinning motion and to do that, I'm going to go over here to transform, hold alt and click on the stopwatch for rotation. And it's going to make, and we're going to uh, make this code called time and then the little star thing, whatever it's called, and then a hundred. So yeah, once you enter that code, you're just going to have the spinning motion like this. All right. So pretty cool in my opinion. Okay. So once you have your little code thing, I'm going to add this uh, glow effect onto our lines and our effects all right so this one the glow drop it on there all right and now we're just gonna play around with it so let's see how this is gonna work okay yeah threshold i want it to be up there for sure intensity uh glow radius that's what i'm looking for is glow radius all right that's looking looking pretty sick so another thing i was thinking i'm like i don't know because i feel like it looks weird having like the red lines just like cutting out like this so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna just like 
extend it like so something like that and then it's just gonna rotate around pretty cool i think also another thing i want to do is add um waveform onto this or wait hold on wave warp i believe it's called onto our lines and let's see how this is gonna look like yes that's too much um we can just adjust it here though we're good so yeah i definitely want the lines to be like really heavy i'm gonna adjust the height again uh i'm gonna go with like nine and just see all right so that's looking pretty sick all right next thing i'm gonna do is let's see uh what i'm trying to think what else i can add on this onto this cover though uh i'm gonna have this other effect onto my boy autumn right here it's called amorphous or mood like amorphous whatever i'm gonna put it on him and basically it just it's like clouds i guess you could say and it just like it brightens him and whatnot like it it, it brings him into life i guess you could say so cloud size it really, it's really up to you um i feel like the smaller the cloud is the more cooler it looks so i'm gonna go with something like that what i can do what i'm thinking low key is at making another layer or like a duplicate this one drop the opacity and just have it like another uh another like red lines in the background so i'm just gonna see how that looks like right now so i'm gonna take out these keyframes and I'm not sure how it's gonna look like, but we'll see right now. Nah, I don't, I don't know. I'm just playing around at this point, honestly, guys. I'm just trying to see what looks best. Something like that. Okay, honestly, guys, I think that looks pretty sick in my opinion. Okay, so the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a loop animation onto this, or like, like a loop code. So uh, whatever you're gonna, or whatever you wanna animate in a loop, you're gonna click on the stopwatch and you're gonna hold down alt it's gonna drop down the code the coding and basically you're gonna add this code and uh i'm reading off my phone but it's called loop out uh the little thing whatever it's called and cycle boom and zero boom all right i'm sorry guys i don't know it by heart i mean i, I keep forgetting but that's the code and it's just gonna add this loop effect onto our thing for us. It looks pretty cool. Okay, so this is a thing that like I used to do for some of my animations that I like to do, but um, it's not Photoshop, it's called Clip Studio Paint. Uh, I used to use a program like crazy when I was a kid. Um, I don't think Photoshop has a similar effect. If anything, what you wanna do is you're just gonna brush over like, so I'm gonna show you an example real quick. So this, okay, this brush is humongous, I don't know why. All right, so I'm gonna make the hardness and the brush size should be a little bit tiny. All right, and I'm gonna make this white. We're gonna make this layer. And basically, you're gonna make a new layer on top of your subject. And you, you, all you wanna do, literally, is outline your subject like so, right? Like basically, you just wanna make outlines around your subject. So something like this, okay. It's not, a, I mean, it's not really a stroke because basically we're going to animate this uh, outline itself. So, yeah, we're going to go with something like that. All right, boom. Outline this again. All right, I'm going to drop the opacity real quick. And we're just going to, you feel me? We're just going to outline all this. So yeah, I'm, I'm just, you're just outlining like really his body parts. All right, so it's like that, like that. So I'm just like right here. His fingers are like right here. His shoes, you feel me? However many outlines you want for the subject, you know, like that's, you know, if you want to call it done, go ahead. But I'm gonna use my art program, all right? In this case though, like to use the uh, animation or like making my outlines, um, I don't want to do that. So I'm going to use this old program that I used to use called Clip Studio Paint. And you're going to duplicate your layer, you feel me? And I'm going to go to Filter. I'm going to go to Effect, Artistic. And I'm over here go to Color Only. Now I'm going to Lines Only. And I'm just going to adjust. Whoops just how many lines i actually want on this so yeah i think that's pretty cool line thickness is really up to you in this case i'm gonna go with something like i think that looks pretty good 
all right i'm gonna change the color of it i want it to be white for this cover so i'm just gonna boost the brightness and boom my outline is there export png drop into after effects all right so i'm gonna call it outline i'm gonna add this on top of our subject like this okay so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna scale my outline just a little bit if anything probably like three like a little bit above three okay so there's this effect that i'm gonna add it's like an outline animation effect right and there's a tutorial on youtube i'm gonna put it up on the screen um to how to make this effect because honestly i don't know it by memory but you know i've been using this effect for some of my animations so i'm gonna just put it up there you know if you guys want to check it out and um you know how to make it it's not by me shout out to this dude who made this tutorial you know fire fire tutorial and with adding all these effects and editing the last you know touches and whatnot this is the final result I hope you guys did learn something from this video, you know, to animate your album covers, cover, whatever project they're working on. Yeah, I mean, if you want to watch more stuff like this, subscribe to the channel because I make tons of tutorials like this and you do not want to miss out. Thank you guys for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.